Gentlemen, we have a situation. We just received word from the Varaxian High Council. Chatty, aren't they? <laughs> Must be paying for their calls by the nanosecond. The coordinates are for a deep sea trench. Our sub team sent this back. Varaxian Starship. The VSS Maximus Securitas. Largest prison ship ever built, containing the most notorious criminal scum in the universe. It was lost approximately 30 Earth years ago, following an accident that caused the ship's control systems to fail. The Varaxians assumed it crashed into our sun. Mm -hmm. Deep fried crispy criminal. Pray not, kid. Turns out the ship missed the sun completely and splashed down here on Earth. Our sub-team breached the hull, but instead of a waterlogged mass grave, they found... An empty ship. Exactly. The lights were on, but no one was home. Gentlemen, this is a situation unlike anything we've faced before. An unknown number of non-registered life forms are at large, each and every one a hardened criminal. You're the best team I've got, so I'm relying on you to deal with it. It's okay. You ready to kick some alien butt? Born ready, Slick. Alien scum need weapons. Lots of weapons. Arming them all is way out of the league of a two-bit dealer like Jeebs. But we've turned up a lead on someone who fits the bill. A Cerudian by the name of Grok. I want you to head dockside and put the squeeze on him. <laughs> Brock, you're in violation of Statute 635 of the Triton Accord. Step away from the desk slowly and keep your claws where I can see them. Okay! A long time no see, buddy. Not nearly long enough from where I'm standing. What are you hiding? Uh, would you believe, uh, toasters? Waste the human! You boys must be new in town. Assaulting an agent of the MIB will get you 20 years and a whole world of hurt.
Alright. when I need him. I'm getting too old for this.
You're already busted for breaking parole conditions. Get out of here and stop wasting my time. Zarlon Battle Mech with Scuttlertron Generator and Negative Ion Displacement Cannon. I'm gonna have to see your license. I got your license right here. Make it work your while, okay? Brock, I am placing you under arrest for violation of Galactic Immigration Law 427, subsections 14L through S. In addition, I am citing you for illegal weapon import, associating with non-registered alien life forms, conspiracy to conceal said non-registered alien life forms, and operating a military standard vehicle in a civilian sector without appropriate clearance. It is also my duty to warn you that attempting to bribe an agent of the MIB is punishable under planetary, galactic, and universal law. Forget about it. Grok talked tough, but when we threatened to deport him, he sang like a bird. Turns out our uninvited guests have been acquiring some property. Pleasant View Nuclear Station. Shut down years ago for safety reasons, but according to our satellites, it's back online. Only problem is, no one authorized it. The satellite sweep also picked up this on the outside. The Fanari brothers. All three were on the Maximus. And they've got a list of offenses longer than a Brunogian's third arm. Bring them in, or toast them trying. One more thing. Grok mentioned Zarnak, then clammed up. We've got no record of the name, but we're looking into it. I'm in, kid. You patched into their security yet? Almost there. Oops. Oops. It's cool. Uh, no problem. Okay, so now there may be a problem. Read the manual pronto, Ace, and then get back to me. There's a manual?
Okay, you better find a control console. Or somewhere on that floor.
There should be a control unit somewhere on that floor. Elevator's up and working, Kay. Time to get a move on. Elevator's up and working, Kay. Time to get a move on.
Doors open, Kay.
Operating a nuclear reactor without clearance is a federal offense. Drop your weapons and step away from the core. Now that wasn't very smart. So are we going to deduce anything from your brother's example? Okay, so we have one yes. Guess there's always got to be one slow learner. Nothing personal, just doing my job. That nuclear power station was being used to charge spacecraft fuel cells, so our uninvited friends may be planning to make a run for it. The station was also powering this. A Class 7 ozone demographifier. We've suspected for some time that the alien criminal Jara was using such a device to siphon off our atmosphere, to sell it on the black market. He uses a company called Global Incorporated as a legitimate front. I think it's time to bring him in.
Front entrance is blast shielded, so this is the best way in. You stay topside and monitor the situation. You sure your back is up to it, old guy? Hey, all I'm saying is the seats in the car have orthopedic support.
Jay, I've gained access to the foyer. Can I take your order, sir? Jay? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, two cheeseburgers, regular fries, and a jumbo soda. Jay? Sorry, Kay, uh, must be some kind of radio interference. My screen shows a whole mess of trouble in there. If I was you, I'd head straight for the lifts. Deserting your post to obtain junk food contravenes MIB operational guidelines. We'll talk about this when I get back. I can hardly wait. Kid, I've got a set of deactivated lifts. Locate me a control source. Try the reception desk. It's a big red dotty blob on my screen. I need the access code pronto, Slick. Just coming up now. Uh, let me see. The lift code is, uh, 2894. Two, eight. No, 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 wait, wait, three. I, I'm at three, eight. Get that lift here ASAP, comprende? Meantime, it looks like I'm in the pest control business.
I've got a red light on conference room access. I'm on it. Give me a second. Is that a double click or a right click? Double click. I'm going in. So, when we reach the outer atmosphere, Zarnak will detonate the device. Then it's on to Vraxia for our sweet revenge. Okay, you guys, place your pincers over your heads. Jara, turn and face the wall. You have the- I know, I know. I have the right to remain silent. I'm sorry, but I simply don't have time for this. Kill him! I'm disappointed, Jara. Your guys were about as dangerous as a seafood platter. Good henchmen are so hard to find in this galactic backwater. Perhaps you'll find my good pet more challenging. Pet? The city of New York requires all pets to be registered, regardless of galactic origin. Alien behemoth class, fluid to mass ratio seven to one. Better make that two cleanup crews just to be on the safe side. While you were busy losing Jara, our containment team lost an entire ship. The VSS Maximus Securitas was stolen right under their noses. Zarnak and his crew are running scared. Jara is our only lead. Fortunately, we've had several street sightings, so we've evacuated the relevant zone. Find Jara and you'll find Zarnak. this whole precinct cordoned off. Give yourself up. Then we can talk about this like two sentient species. 
Sorry, but I've got to run. You see, I've got to meet Zarnak to discuss destroying your planet. <laughs> I am insane. I'll deal with this. Guess I'll just stay here and uh, look after the megaphone.
Into the land, Jara. Oh, you humanoids and your pathetic jokes. Joke? Location of the Maximus, Jara. Behind you. I wasn't born yesterday. No, really. Through there. But I wouldn't bother. When Zarnak's ship lifts off in just a few minutes, he's leaving behind a little present that will reduce your pitiful planet to cinders. This is it, gentlemen. The big one. The Varaxians finally came through with the information on Zarnak. And it's not pretty. It seems our mysterious ringleader is a paranoid psychotic who'd put Edgar Bug to shame. Here's the last three locations he was known to have visited. Dulor, Elbarg 9, and last but not least, the entire Santrinus system. We have to assume he intends to turn this place into toast. It's save the Earth time again, but I've no doubt you can do it.
Come on! Bingo. Looks like Zarnak organized a welcoming committee.
Ready or not, Zarnak, here I come. This is a complication I could have done without.
Zarnak, I order you to turn this vessel around and return to Earth immediately for criminal processing. You're too late, human. In just a few minutes, both your planet and your precious MID will be so many billions of carbonized atoms floating in the blackness of space. Not on my watch. Zarnak, you have the right to remain silent. I haven't flown one of these in a long time. Autopilot should be somewhere about here. I thought you said Kate could drive one of those things. Must be a stick ship. Don't sweat it, kid. He'll be back. I'm heading upstairs. I want to see this with my own eyes. Why the long face, Sport? But you... the ship, uh... how? You don't stay in this game for as long as I have without picking up a few tricks along the way. So, what happened to Captain Bad Guy? He's not going anywhere in a hurry. Looks like we're back to normal. Back to normal? Thousands of people must have seen a gigantic spaceship flying around here. How the heck are we supposed to cover all that up? Slim. I thought even you would get it by now. <laughs> 